Good day, guys, and welcome back to another episode. Now, I think we're up to episode nine, maybe ten or eleven. I don't know. Look, it'll be somewhere in the title. Um, however, I'd say this is definitely one of the more exciting episodes. We are now definitely on the run home and I think this is where you'll start to see the car really, really come together. So without rambling along for too long here, let's just, um, let's just get straight in the build and see what I've been up to for the past sort of six weeks. With the lights and indicators installed, the next thing to do was to install the wiring harness. Now the original wiring harness on my rangey was tampered and, and, and modified quite badly, so I wanted to start with a clean slate. So I decided to buy an original two-door Range Rover wiring harness and also utilise certain components of my old one. With the trailer in mind, I decided to wire up the five core wiring harness for the trailer lights so that later on it was just a straight plug and play.
feet of the chain? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's two rounds to the left. With the engine in the shed, the long and arduous process of removing, cleaning and replacing all the worn out items had begun. First on the list was removing the automatic flex or flywheel plate and getting the engine ready to be mounted on the engine stand.
So now that I've got the engine all gurneyed and cleaned up, the next thing I'm going to start doing is taking off all the hoses and all the associated bits that I just don't really need in on the engine right now. Um, that also gives me an opportunity to give it a bit of a clean, assess the rubber and make sure that it's still sweet. If I find any cracks or wear and tear, then I can just throw it out and get a new one. Um, however, I'm not just going to throw it out just for the sakes of whacking some new stuff on if it's still in good nick. Um, and then once I've got the rubber off, then I can actually start exposing a bit more of the front and taking things like the water pump off, the power steering um, unit off as well, and also assessing eventually the timing belt. At the moment, I don't, technically speaking, I don't really need to do the timing belt. It's only done 50,000 Ks since the rebuild. So it's still good for another sort of another 50,000 Ks without any issues. However, I don't really want to do it later on. And if I do it now, then I've got another 100,000 Ks before, you know, I have to do it again. So um, I'm kind of trying to talk myself into doing it, but we'll see how things go. The other thing is the rear main seal. Um, that's also been done at the, during the rebuild. So I don't, again, I don't need to do it. However, it's an absolute bastard of a seal to get to. So it probably makes sense to do it this time around. Um, however, that won't be until right at the end when I can actually take it off the crane and I can put it on you know, a tire carcass and actually just do it from the rear. So um, yeah, let's start taking everything off and then um, we'll start replacing all the bits.
it's just about to start cleaning the engine and it's about to start rolling the camera until I've just realized that I've left every single battery at home and I don't have a charger here. So unfortunately, yesterday I painted up and cleaned, well, cleaned up and painted the engine and I wasn't able to get a video of it all in the process, but it turned out a lot better than I thought. Check it out.
With the engine off the stand and on a tyre, I could attack the rear end of the engine and install the male end of the gearbox bell housing, the flywheel, the clutch, and of course the rear main seal that I had been umming and ahhing and changing.
Ja, sen då. Just need to scooch over this way to the right. So this way. A little bit too much. Yeah, that's it. A little bit there. Yeah, I think we're not that far off. Um, so can we go any more down with the engine? Yeah. All right, take it down to full. Are you going up or down? Down. That's home now. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So if that's home, can you... Actually, I'll come out and have a quick look. Or, because I have a suspicious feeling that what's happening is that that engine's actually got to roll back. So put a timber or something on top of that. Or lift him up. Just go. She just slid. Yeah, it did. So Straight we quickly in. need to put another nut on this side. Where are all your nuts? Uh, they're right behind you on your foot. These don't need washers, do they? Uh, Straight not, exhaust ones. It's not technically mine. They are the washer building. Yep. Can you pass this down your foot? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is that it? How are you?